Hey guys, welcome to another video of Invictus Motors. Here I am with a 2011, ignore the number plate, uh, Porsche Cayman 987.2. So it's so a generation two with the 2.9 litre direct injection engine. A uh, couple of improvements from the last one. Uh, fuel efficiency has slightly gone up. It, does, it no longer has the inter intermediary shaft bearing, so improve, improve reliability. And the 0 to 60 is 5.8 seconds. So uh, 2.9 litre engine, 260 odd brake horsepower, 300 Newton meters of torque. So um, guard red paint, we have the 18 inch Cayman S alloys. Uh, one thing I've noticed and something that's important to me is every time I look at a used car, I always look at the tires. And on all four corners, we have the Continental Contact Sport tires, which are highly regarded. And it's a testament to see, you know, to tell how, how well the car's been looked after. Let's check out the interior. Right, so this has the extended beige leather, which complements the guard red uh, paint. And um, I'm just looking at the condition of this car. It really is in immaculate condition. Uh, the seats don't have any tears. Uh, I can tell they've been, uh, they've been oiled and conditioned over the years. And um, I cannot see any scuffs or, or any marks on this the car. And it, again, it tells you how well, how well the car has been looked after. Uh, Spec-wise, we have heated leather seats, we have a multifunction steering wheel, it's got parking sensors, and um, it's got a very tight six-speed gear, uh, six gearbox. Let's talk about the service history of this particular vehicle. Um, so it has eight service stamps in the book, first three is from the Porsche main dealers, and uh, the remaining five is from a Porsche specialist, SP Autobahn. And uh, looking at the service computer, it's not due for another service in another 17,500 miles or 500 odd days. All right guys, um, let's see how this car drives. So this car has 47,434 miles and that is low mileage for its age, 2011. And it's been driven, it's done enough miles because these cars like to be driven. Right, let's get to it. So like I said, this gearbox feels so good. It's so really tight. I've driven a lot of Caymans out there and um, this, this gearbox for the generation two feels really tight. It almost feels like a short shifter. And that tells you how well Porsche build their, their cars. So the Cayman, this car really does give you an exhilarating raw driving experience. It corners like it's on rails. And there's a following for this car. A lot of people take this car to the track, more so than the 911. And for obvious reasons, it's a mid-engined car. And this is only a 2.9 litre, the direct injection Gen 2 engine, but it really does pull from a low RPM. It's got a very flat torque curve. So no matter what, which RPM you're in, you always get that instant throttle response from that, that six cylinder flat six engine which you really it's is a, it's a peach a peach of your engine uh, as you know the the Caymans after this from 2013 a lot of them were four cylinder turbos and um, a lot of people say that it miss it, it doesn't have that same six cylinder character that this car does um, so th this car it's a gen 2 2011 and they're not gonna make many they've stopped making cars like this you know, the, the desirability of this car is immense. So, how does this car drive? There's absolutely no rattles, no, 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 no squeaks or nothing like that in the interior. Um, and uh, whoever these previous owners were, they not only did they look after the car, but they they, they didn't they didn't uh, floor it everywhere. They they've driven it normally, and it, you can tell by the way it drives. Right, round corners, it feels completely flat. There's no body roll, which is expected of a car of this caliber. And that exhaust note, wow. The engine's at the back and you can, you can really feel it. It vibrates through your whole body. And it's, it's such an experience driving this car. 
and you can get the same you, driving day to day in a car like this a mid-engine 2.9 liter engine weighs doesn't weigh that much for what it is you can get more enjoyment from this than a Porsche 911 for your every everyday uh, novice driver just doing about three and a half thousand rpm there and it still pulls this is a sort of car that you would not get bored you would not get bored in it, it really has that mechanical analog feel that a lot of modern cars now simply don't have on a final note if you like this video please like subscribe guys let me show you the acceleration what the engine sounds like Wow, that's exhilarating. 